Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 41 of my Bar City Lower League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And today we've got two home games. So there's a real chance we could win both of them, considering their teams at the bottom half of the table. Uh, we're, first we've got Barrow. Where are they? They're 22nd. They've got the worst goal difference in the league, so that's a good thing for us. And then Macclesfield, uh, they're around the same position, so really two similar teams. I'd be expecting two wins here if in the previous episode I won two away games. So I feel, and Braintree and Aldershot, well, Aldershot's here, not that good, but Braintree, I think they were fourth at the time we played them, and that's a very interesting name <laughs> for a team, but either way... Huge chance, and we've been, I think, if we go to the league table where we can change it, where are we? Competitions? I don't think I've shown this yet, but either way, I may have, but <laughs> I want to just see this again. I think I may have showed it personally to myself or something. Can you click on the league table there? No, have to go into the overall standings. There we go. <laughs> My mouse is still a bit ruined. Uh, last five games, we are first, pretty much. So, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, we've won four and lost one. So, we're doing pretty well of late. I'm really, I'm really happy with our performance. And yeah, with these two games, that's what I want to focus on now. We could potentially get into the promotion places. So I don't want to get too ahead of myself though, because don't forget how we started. We started maybe I was adjusting to this league. Maybe my players were doing the same. It's hard to really tell. I don't know for sure, but I guess we're going to find out the rest of the season. But the good thing is now we're probably not going to get relegated or something like that, and I'm not going to get fired on this current form. It's put me in a really good position to probably finish at a minimum lower mid table. That's a minimum I reckon with our performance right now. Uh, I might bring Walks now. He's 81 condition. We'll roll in with this team. We got, it's hard because we've got, I think, coming off the last game and the two games in this episode, we're going to have to play, yeah, three games in a week in seven days. So that's why there's low conditions. But we will roll in and it's been such a turnaround in a short amount of episodes. <laughs> like just a couple episodes ago, people were saying I need to change tactics and I need to change my team talks and there's all this uh, other stuff. Not saying that's a bad thing. Like, bad, uh, they're something I needed to do. I'm not sure if I did that, what you think, that if I made many changes or... Yeah, because I haven't made too many ch like changes tactically or something like that. But you can see this team here, they're playing pretty defensive. Five at the back, you got the three centre-backs and two wing-backs. And if you want to see my opposition's instructions, there you go. I might add some for the wing-backs. I'll put hard tackling, not hard tackling, sorry. Um, show on to weaker foot. I think I did that last time with wing backs. Well, whatever team I played against. And put tight marking on as well. So don't allow them too much space. So tight mark and showing them on the weaker foot when you are marking them. So that should go down well. And now I'll rely on Lee Alam for the team talks. Uh, he's got decent ratings though. Can't remember what his motivating is again. I can't click on him. Why can't I click on him from here? I should be able to. But we'll go the long routes to Lee Alam. Pretty good. Yeah, he's a really good assistant manager for this level. And you can see this advice history as well. But anyway, no, yeah, he's got 17 motivating. That's really important. And it's a big contrast. I'm pretty sure mine hasn't changed as well. Where are we? My profile. That's what I mean. Sometimes people say I'm bad at team talks. Oh, my motivating's gone up to six. I just haven't checked it for a long time. But I remember it started at four. So, yeah, I remember commenting to someone that it's four, but I just haven't checked it in so long. So, it's actually six now, but it's really, really poor. And I made my attributes, this. I just did it, yeah, to judge for this level. Like, uh, when you start in the Conference South, the Conference South. So, I just want to make myself a poor manager, then I can improve over time, like my team will. So, yeah, decent reactions there. I don't feel like no bad reactions to recover from. Maybe defense, maybe defenders. What did I say? Cautiously... Maybe we'll just say, there's a lot more to come from you. Okay. I might say that to everyone now because they've got good reactions. There's a lot more to come from you. Okay, yes. Strikers, finish off the reactions here. Sweet. Yep. 
Oh, this is going to give us a big chance to get the three points in this game. Of course, team talks are only part of it. Hey, wait, didn't their goalkeeper, didn't like uh, Rachuba, Rachubaka, Rachubka? not sure how to say his name, but I remember his name, he looked, used to play for Blackpool or something when they were a bit like in championship or something, a bit higher. I think they were in the Premier League when they got promoted, but I'm not sure if he played, I just remember his name. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on here, Palmer! Smashes it. <laughs> we are so good right now. Less than two minutes it took us to score. And this guy is going to be special, Lee Palmer. You know, last year, he was the high potential guy coming through. Well, technically, it would be this year or last season. Lee Palmer. And he hasn't done too much. He hasn't come in and been a superstar. If you remember my FM14 save, he hasn't been like a Tom Tolley who just comes in and scores heaps. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched that, like, if you just subscribe to FM15, if you just want some enjoyable series to watch, watch that, and wait for Tom Tolley to come through. He was amazing, and it's 2-0, come on! I'm not sure where this, like, last month of football, probably a bit more than a month now, has come from, but it has been amazing. Adelsbury again, there's the set piece, a dangerous one, and the goalkeeper saved it, went straight to McPhee, and he scored another. What a start here. This is going perfectly. And it's like we're so, we're like favorites now to win, to win games because we have been winning in recent times. Like you saw from that ladder or the table. Yeah, from the table, we are, we're first in the last five games with four wins and only one loss. So we're looking to push on. Come on. Don't give it away here. Come on, Shekelford. Well done. Good tackle. Palmer's coming along nicely as well. He's, yeah, he's, I feel this is maybe his game where he really shines and he comes into that first team uh, kind of player. I'd love that at his age right now. Come on, McPhee. Let's finish it off in this half. Palmer again. Everything going through him and he sets it up for another to Horst goal. That's his 11th of the season. A very, very good striker from um, for this level uh, on loan from Hull. It's just a very neat finish. He's got good technique as well. Of course, strikers this level, if you got you got a guy with good finishing around 13 or something, but it's so much more better uh, when you've got a good technique as well. It helps in those kind of situations. We'll say assertive here. We'll say concentrate so we don't give away this 3-0 lead that we have right now. I don't want to be giving that away. Come on, let's hold on to it. And there we go. Perfect. That's a perfect half. Apart from McPhee having a low condition. I might have to sub him early. But as I said, that was a perfect performance. There was no faults. And yeah, Lee Palmer, he just pulled the strings in that center attacking midfield role. Looked great. But here we've got to be careful. Don't let them have the first goal as well. O'Hanlon, Pilkington. Oh no, O'Hanlon. Oh, what a save. I thought it would have been one of those easy goals that they get, but we prevented it for once. Well done. Locke is coming along nicely. I remember what a comment a few episodes ago, if any of you remember that comment someone said, they were like suggesting to sign Scafe and stuff and those kind of big players. <laughs> no chance they'll be joining. So yeah, if you don't know, if you're not too familiar, like if you just watch FIFA videos and you suggest those kind of players. This is completely different. This is those kind of players don't want to join. So I hope you understand that. You no chance they're going to join. Not even if I get. You have to be in Premier League. You get a very minimum and a good team in the Premier League for those kind of players to want to join. But anyway, we're going to rest McPhee. See his condition's gone up to what it was. We'll bring on Demkiv. Anyone else? Uh, Dan Hart. No, we don't really. Well, technically we can. We'll bring on Josh Pask. He needs some game time. And we'll bring Charlie Ward to defensive midfield. Actually, no. Undo last. Gallinar might be a better rating there. Or not. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Gallinar, a bit more experience. Pass centre-back. Or centre, yeah, central defender on cover. Uh, I'm thinking just to make all subs here. Like, keep the freshness up. Yeah, even Charlie Ward. Uh, I think... Actually, I'm going to make... 
I am going to make that change somewhere. I'm not sure who. No, I, it's hard. Sometimes you want to like keep players fit and stuff, but I'll leave it for now. I know, yeah, it's not realistic to make three subs at once anyway. So, so pressure off Pask. You can do that for him because, yeah, low condition. Not low condition, sorry. Um, his age. <laughs> There's so many things running through my mind right now. I'm just shocked we can, yeah, dominate teams now. Like, we were really struggling. It wasn't too long ago. It was like four or five episodes ago. And now everything is just coming along nicely. And we've defended well in this second half. Uh, who do we need to rest the most? Maybe Marich. Yeah. And we'll bring in Furlong. Then we'll just bring, yeah, Ward all the way there. Then Galinar. Because Galinar can play centre mid as well. Just deep line playmaker. And, yep, that'll be the final change for Furlong to become on. I think Furlong, he's a guy we have on loan. It's only till, like, middle of December. So we may have to renew his loan. Of course, yeah, it's a good opportunity with those shorter kind of loans because you can get a gauge on how important they are for you, like how they perform. Uh, but yeah, there probably isn't going to be a late goal. Only 30 seconds to be played when the highlights started, but we may do. Palmer, Adelsbury, nah, there's going to be nothing, which I don't mind. It'll be a solid performance, convincing performance at the back as well, Lock. Yeah, a couple of people were doubting him as well, um, but he's a good enough keeper for this level and he's got potential to exceed that. I think he can become a good player in League 2 level, but Palmer is the player of the match. That's huge for him, huge for his confidence, and I reckon he can push on now and be rotating with Dan Demkiv. Demkiv could play as a striker as well, so they both can be on the pitch at the same time if that is a worry. But we move out to 6 now, and that means we are only a win away from third that is insane stuff so we have a real chance yeah the playoffs is a real consideration for us now maybe a couple months ago it wasn't but i'm just shocked how am i in this position <laughs> a few just a good run and i'm there i'm pretty sure i mentioned that when i was going badly i just said i need a run of wins and i'll i'll move up the table it's pretty obvious but this far i wasn't I thought I might settle in mid-table, like right in the middle, but right now, oh, there's still a chance for the playoffs, obviously to finish first, Eastley are too far ahead, but yeah, to finish somewhere in the playoffs, and there's no pressure, there'll be no pressure at all for me to get promoted, so that might give us the leg up, maybe compared to other teams like AFC Wimbledon, who would have just got relegated, they'll be more expected to get promoted, so we'll go in, well, of course there's a <laughs> heaps of this season to play, more than, just slightly more than half of it, but it's a good start. It's a good, yeah, form we're on to be in this position from where we were. See, right now, there's a chance to offer Lee Palmer a professional contract, uh, but his current contract is until the end of 2017, and especially right now, what's, yeah, we're already, <laughs> we're already in the red, uh, our available wage budget, so that's really, I don't want to do it, because we'll be even more in the red. He'll want more money. He's more than the 80 per week. So just for example, you go off a contract. He wants 120. Okay, it's not so much more. I could easily... I could almost get him on the same. Okay, I can't. <laughs> you can't go that low. But for example, I'm going to want to wait. Maybe I have to release a player or something. Is there anyone you think I could release? I'm not really sure. I feel... Maybe Bacchus, he's not really doing anything. Like, we've only used him off the bench in one game in the league. Do we need him? And we've got quite a few loans. Definitely, I'm going to at least wait and see if I can get Furlong again uh, to continue his loan. But we'll see. And even Artis, I don't know about him. I real As we were pushing up this high, I don't think he's that kind of level of player, a player that will be in a team that's now looking to get promoted into League 2, I don't, th and imagine this, imagine how much we'd have to change our team though to be competitive in League 2, we'd have to, oh, I don't know, but well, I'm not sure how we'd survive there, but <laughs> we'll need a lot of money coming in, I don't know, what do you think with the players, I'll keep them for now so you can leave your thoughts and yeah, give me the feedback. But yeah, I'll leave it for now, though. 
But now it is time for the second game in this episode. It is against Macclesfield. I really, really want to win this. I want to keep going on this form, of course. And don't forget that loss there. That was against Oldham in the FA Cup. So, or Taunton as well, that was in the FA Cup. So, since Forest Green, yeah, we've won five in a row now. So, when I showed you that league table stuff before, now it would be your yeah, last five games, five wins. That's amazing. And we're on the same points as Cheltenham, who's in the play of places right now. And you can see gradually with better results, our goal difference is improving. So, that should be sorted out not too far away if we keep winning, of course. Got to keep taking advantage of this form. Lee Palmer... Ooh, we're going to make some changes here, actually. To Horst, oh, McPhee is on to... Bur it's hard to make decisions here. Uh, Dan Hart, maybe, will bring on Anton Walks. And Sheckleford. He played a really good game last time out, didn't he? Yeah, 7.4 rating. Charlie Ward. We've got Pask. See, he's technically rated our best centre-back, but I want to leave yeah, Charlie Ward and Gallen. I feel they've got more chemistry between them. I'm not sure if that's a feature at all, that kind of thing in the game. Like if a centre-back partnership, they've played more than other guys have together, they would perform generally a little bit better. I don't really know if that's a thing or not, but it's something I'm just going to believe <laughs> or hope for and go with. Uh, but we'll leave it here. There's not too many other amazing players like, I'm, oh, I mean, I'm really happy to go in with this team. I reckon we can do it again. Let's go, lads. No nonsense stuff. It's an expected win for us now. Look at the complete difference. Wherever it says it, like, we're easily favourites there. And it's a shock, because not too long ago, we were just, we were on the opposite end of it. Not too long ago, we were around the position Macclesfield are right now, so... Opposition instructions are set. Team talk. What are we going to say? Passionately. Yeah, maybe just say a relaxing one, kind of. Or Yeah, say that calmly. Maybe. No, pick up where you left off last time out. That's what... you got to keep that kind of expectation up as well. Maybe for the defenders, we'll say calmly as well. Um, no pressure. Okay. Hopefully that will go well. And we can pick up the three points again. Because it's a real possibility that if we get the three points here, we will be shockingly, <laughs> surprisingly, all those kind of words, in the playoff spots. Oh, great. They have an early chance. It's something we have to be careful of. We still have to keep our head in the game. Because, look, not much has happened in this first half. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Might not be too bad. We can hit him. Uh, we can go with a more of aggressive team talk. I'm far from pleased. A couple players. It's hard because you get a couple bad reactions, but then you've got some good ones. I'll just say, I have faith in you. Okay. Charlie Ward. Play a natural game. Okay, relax. Only one player, Marich. And a bad reaction from him. And it's only a demotivating one. Basically, all the other players got good reactions. You'll get that when you've got low motivating. But come on. Don't give it up. I just said don't give him up! Fuck. I thought we were going to concede there. We're not, we're not as good as we've been. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that. Maybe some players are getting tired. I'm not sure. Come on. Uh, even Adelsbury's had oh, so many players playing poorly. What like what changed? <laughs> Demkiv will bring on McPhee, who can actually play that centre mid position. We'll put him box to box, and we'll drop out Adelsbury. I don't want to, but he's been our worst player, so we'll take him off. We'll bring on Pask, and then we'll bring Gallinar as a. De can we put Walks there instead? Nah, see Gallinar's even a better rated player to play there. So got, this is what you've got to do. You've got to change things up or it's not going to happen. And even, yeah, to horse, let's bring on Pratt, who's a real chance to score. So come on. We've got to take advantage on this good form because I know we aren't going to be playing this way for the rest of the season. Don't forget, we're a team that just got promoted. But we need to pick up as many points as we can while we're on this form. If I'm being honest, I don't think we'll finish in the playoff positions. I just want to 
maybe just finish outside them now or in mid table because I probably don't want to get promoted. League two would be so hard, like with our current funds. Just you got to be honest as well. You need time to get the young players in, even though it will be an amazing feat. So you just nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're just not really pushing on. We can go attacking here, but I don't want again. I don't want to go over the top attacking. And we lose late, so nah. Just say passionately, uh, get creative. If we don't score, it's okay. Taking a draw wouldn't be terrible, because we can still maintain our unbeaten. Oh no, they've got a free kick. No. Oh, Locke makes a save. Oh, I, honestly, I think like we could have easily dropped the points here. That's what I'll be thankful. I think it's just one of those games against yeah who you're matched up against. I think we'll take the three points. And Charlie Ward injured late, we'll take it. But look at those conditions. We're just completely stuffed. We've had too many games. Three games in a week. And honestly, we're relieved to take a point from this. Dan Ball, luckily a player of the match performance. But we'll say assertive, that was not good enough. And even Dan Ball still gets fired up when he was the best player on the pitch when I said it wasn't good enough. See, we only had one shot on target. They had four. How about the clear-cut chances? Yeah, they had one. With, yeah, no one really was too dominant. But they did have more chances than us. And we do move up into fifth. So we are. And we didn't even need to win. So that's good enough for me. So yes, you can see there we are fifth. And yeah, I'm still shocked. Somehow... We are in, like, if the season ended now, we'd be playing player football, which is insane to think about. But like I just mentioned, I think we're just on a good run of form right now, and we're probably going to go back to start losing some games. It's not like I'm going to be unbeaten for the rest of the season. That's a bit unrealistic for a team that just got promoted. But of course, I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to lose games on purpose or anything like that. But if I'm just being brutally honest, I don't think playing League 2 football next season will be the smartest thing for us because we're going to have to improve the team so much more. We've just got to... Like, it wasn't too long ago we were getting dominated 5-1 against teams in this league and teams down the bottom like Chester. Where are they? Yeah, Chester, 18th, near the bottom at least. And we lost like 5-1, two games in a row. So, with the current players we have. So... We would have to improve the team drastically, which I don't think could happen right away. But just being brutally honest, what do you think? Do you think it would be a good thing for us to get promoted next season? Because honestly, I think, yeah, week in, week out, we would be battered like we were early this season, but on a higher scale. Anyway, hopefully you like the improving form. I definitely do. Drop a like if you want to see some more of this series, and I shall see you guys next time.